Well, this all went down in broad daylight late last week. While cruising for troublemakers, the deputies come across what they think could be the legendary chupacabra. I'm seeing it, but I don't believe it. It's in the daytime. A DeWitt County deputy in training reacts to seeing what just may be a chupacabra. That's crazy. I've been patrolling these back roads for a long time, and I've never run across anything like this until that day. Last Friday, hours before sunset, Corporal Brandon Riedel and his partner were checking fence lines near Quero when they stumbled across the alleged creature of the night. We came around a corner and saw this uh, running down the road. Riedel says it's hairless with a long snout, short front legs, and long back legs. <laughs> it's just strange. Noticing the unique photo op, he turned on his squad car's dash cam. Well, so I hit the record button and it was just, this is what we got. What they got has the deputies and even Sheriff Jody Vasky baffled. It's amazing. Uh, we, we still don't know what it is. Some believe the thing that eventually disappeared into the brush could be the legendary goat sucker himself, the chupacabra. Riedel says it's about the size of a coyote, but when he froze the video and saw its profile... But I knew it wasn't a coyote. He tells us it looks a lot like this creature found dead in Quero last year. It was first believed to be a chupacabra, but tests at Texas State showed it was some sort of coyote. The sheriff believes the beast caught on tape may be the same thing, but as Quero receives national attention and quickly becomes the chupacabra capital of the world, this lawman admits anything is possible. I love this for, for DeWitt County. It has brought a lot of attention uh, to us. Uh, we're not near ready to put this one to bed yet. The sheriff believes the video may start a new rash of chupacabra sightings in his county. He tells us he is willing to work with credible researchers who want to look at the video and help solve this mystery.